I really hate doing these videos. I do. But I'm pretty sure that most people have heard that Sonny Chiba has passed away. Yes, the Street Fighter. The original Street Fighter before the video games, before any of that. This guy right here, Sonny Chiba, has passed away at the age of 82. Um, pretty sad news to hear. Sonny Chiba was a legend in Japan. Um, even before he was in... The Street Fighter was pretty much the movie that made him a superstar. But prior to The Street Fighter, he was on a lot of different Japanese TV series. And he had done a couple martial arts films before. But the particularly the first movie is what made him a star worldwide and Tarantino Quentin Tarantino was a pretty big fan of him put him in the Kill Bill the first Kill Bill movie and True Romance had references to Sonny Chiba and they showed the Street Fighter in there which was cool but very sad news to wake up to today to hear the passing of a legend of not just martial arts cinema but cinema in general, again, worldwide superstar. And a legit badass. Um, Sonny Chiba was a legit martial artist. He held uh, several black belts, most notably uh, Kyokushin, who he actually played the founder of Kyokushin, Masoyama, in a series of movies, which I think that was, uh, I think... The first one come the first one came out before the Street Fighter, but again, the Street Fighter is what made him huge. Um, I remember as a kid, Jackie Chan's comic book Spartan X had a advertisement for the Street Fighter movies because New Line re released them when they can't when Rumble after Rumble in the Bronx came out. They re-released these movies on VHS, all three of these movies. And the first, Sister Street Fighter, because Sonny Chiba is in that one, even though he plays a different character. Isn't it weird how that works? I actually finally got that movie on Laserdisc. It's so hard to get for some reason, but yeah. Um, and of course, American movie fans, again, will know him as uh, Hattori Hanzo from the sword maker from the first Kill Bill movie and also Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift which is the best thing about that movie is that Sonny Chiba is in it but very sad news to hear today waking up today first thing I heard was the passing of Sonny Chiba who again a legend in uh in cinema so may he rest in peace uh, going to put on the Street Fighter now as a tribute. And uh, if you guys haven't seen any of his movies, do yourself a favor and check them out. Whether it's these, Wolf, Guy's re Wolf Guy is really weird, but it's a good movie. Doberman Cop is good. Uh, Bullet Train, you got to be in the right mood to watch Bullet Train. It's where Speed got the idea. Good movie. Um... Karate Warriors is good. Dragon Princess is good. Just check this guy's movies out. A lot of these movies you can find here on YouTube for free or a lot of other streaming sites for free. The Bodyguard with him is good. Um, if you have not seen this guy's movies, you need to check him out. He was the basically the Japanese version of Bruce Lee. In case anybody, you know, needed to replace Bruce Lee at the time. He was kind of the guy that was after Bruce Lee and never, never got the credit for it. Never, in my opinion. But once again, rest in peace, Mr. Sonny Chiba. We will continue to enjoy your movies and we'll see you in the next life.